Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just got priceless revenge on Philly's sanctuary city mayor who he caught on camera. Philadelphia's Democrat mayor Jim Kenney once again faces a plethora of scrutiny and backlash from taxpayers after what he just did. Kenny was spotted dancing in joy after he learned that a judge voted in his favor, which effectively supports the sanctuary city status. Philadelphia residents spoke out in dismay on Facebook, lambasting the Democrat mayor for punishing Philly residents with a soda tax and now this dance that was insulting to people, particularly anyone who was a victim of a crime committed by an illegal immigrant. Now the upset voters in Philadelphia have something else to talk about. But it wasn't just the Philadelphians who spoke out about Kenny and his immature dancing that placed American lives second to those who are illegal immigrants. The White House spoke out about the celebratory dance and mentioned that it was disgusting that he would do that. Kenny's potentially embarrassing dance for immigration went viral and came directly after U.S. District Judge Michael Bailson ruled that Trump's administration can cut funding for the city based on their sanctuary city status. It seemed to revolve specifically around policies that had to do with the cooperation of local police with federal immigration agents. Fox News stated, video tweeted by Philadelphia Mayor James Kenney's deputy chief of staff showed him dancing with chief of staff Jane Slusser. Sanctuary City, yeah. A giddy Kenny sings before high-fiving Slusser. The White House was not impressed and drew attention to the crimes committed by criminal illegal immigrants who have been protected by sanctuary policies. Many people in Philadelphia have been KD, RD or assaulted at the hands of criminal illegal aliens, White House spokesman Hogan Gidley told Fox News. It's disgusting the mayor would dance in celebration of a lawless decision that allows these dangerous criminals to roam free in Philadelphia communities and prey on innocent families and children. Democrats' sanctuary city policy is reckless, dangerous and protects criminals, not law-abiding American citizens, he added. The city has said it will turn over illegal immigrants to Immigration and Customs Enforcement only if the agency has a warrant signed by a judge. President Trump supports legal immigration and wants to work towards lowering the amount of illegal immigration. Trump has wanted his administration to cut off funding for cities who chose to harbor illegal immigrants and refuse to work with federal laws that might say they have to cooperate with immigration authorities and rules laws. Philadelphia has a lot of immigrants, but there's also a lot of illegal immigrants as well. Some of the illegal immigrants have violent criminal records in which children have been harmed. It doesn't stop there. In 2016 a staff columnist for Philly.com, named Stu Bykovsky, wrote about a criminal illegal immigrant named Ramon Aguirre Ochoa, or maybe Juan Ramon Vasquez who was charged with raping a child. The criminal illegal immigrant had multiple names, was arrested, released, and somehow in Philadelphia illegally. Bykovsky talks about the sanctuary city status that was reversed in 2014 by then-Mayor Nutter. It was Mayor Jim Kenney who came along and turned Philadelphia back into a sanctuary city, thus putting some people in danger as the criminals would no longer be mentioned to the immigration agents, at least that's what it seemed like. Stu Bykovsky stated something somewhat shocking about ISX offender illegal immigrant incident in Philadelphia. The multi-named defendant enjoys the presumption of innocence. Should he be convicted on current charges, I'm laying the agony of the victim at the feet of former Mayor Nutter who ended cooperation with ICE after years of being browbeaten by the enablers of those here legally. In one of his last, and most surprising, official acts, Nutter reversed his 2014 executive order and restored city cooperation with ICE. I don't know why he made a U-turn. He didn't respond to requests for comment. Maybe he suddenly came to his senses and realized turning foreign felons loose is stupid and dangerous. Little matter. In one of his first official acts, Mayor Kenny reversed Nutter's reversal and restored sanctuary city status. It's hard to imagine elected officials so anxious to coddle convicted foreign felons they would roll the dice with the safety of citizens, but Kenny is not alone. There are 340 sanctuaries across the nation, each headed by a soft-headed dunce who puts feeling good above public safety. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson says Philly and Chicago are the worst offenders. Under Kenny's dangerous executive order, ICE will be notified only if the suspect has a conviction, but not just a conviction, it must be a felony. But not just a felony, it must be a first or second degree felony. But not just a first or second degree felony, it must also involve violence. So good for, non-violent, drunken drivers, identity thieves and burglars. Feel free to offend, foreign felons. Philly's got your back. In a gigantic additional hurdle. The city demands ICE present a judicial warrant, the equivalent of an arrest warrant, which an ICE spokesman says is almost impossible because the crime has already been solved. 
The executive order is carefully crafted to protect the guilty. That's what it did for Jose Palermos, 43, who in March 2013 was convicted of indecent assault on a seven-year-old girl. That got the SX offender on the Megan's Law list, but it wasn't enough to get the city to honor ICE's detainer request. His was only a third-degree felony, a minor crime. Unless you were the minor. Despite the city's best efforts to protect this monster, ICE found and deported him to Mexico. It's easy to see why Philadelphia resident in the White House would be uncomfortable with Mayor Jim Kenney dancing to celebrate protecting sanctuary city status and funding. It's the sanctuary city status that seems to have allowed an illegal immigrant to commit a horrible crime against a child. Releasing a violent illegal immigrant back into the population instead of deporting them can certainly lead to another criminal incident happening, in that case, it was a child. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.